19 soldiers of fortune return now seek work. This is 19 U.S. citizens from the Union states that went and committed genocide against the Moors in 1922. This ain't the 17, 16, 14, 92 or anything like that. New York, March 30th, 1922. Receiving scarcely a second glance from passerbys, 19 soldiers of fortune discharged members of the Spanish Foreign Legion who saw active fighting against the Moors in North Africa. Today roamed New York streets looking for places to eat, sleep, and to work. They hail from 14 states of the Union. Again, they hail from 14 states of the Union. So the United States government allowed these people to go over there and commit genocide. Less than six months ago, most of the men left this country, attracted to Spain by alluring inducements held by Spanish authorities. Today on their return, they could muster less than $5 among them. That's what they get. They obtained return passage after appealing to American consular agents in Spain to have them released from their contracts with the Spanish government, which proves that United States government knew what was going on because it ain't the American government. It's the U.S. government. And they knew what was going on and they had direct communications with so-called Spain. 70 or 80 more Americans, according to the 19 who returned, also members of the Foreign Legion, remain in Spain but are expected to return soon. Two will never return. They are Martin Cherry of Toledo, Ohio, and Benny Herman of Philadelphia. And I'm glad that I can expose the names of these genocidal maniacs. Cherry was killed in a skirmish. Islam, praise be to Allah. Herman was killed by a dumb dumb bullet fired by a Moorish sniper. Both were buried in North Africa. Praise be to Allah. All are veterans. Almost all of the 19 who returned are veterans of the United States military or naval forces in the World War. The oldest F.A. Gilbert, I repeat, the oldest F.A. Gilbert, 47 of Detroit, D. Detroit, enlisted in the Legion in London after serving during the war in the British Army. The youngest Charles Bernard, again Bernard, 17 of Richmond, Virginia, left the states of New Orleans on September 14, 1921. In addition to being the youngest, he was also the tallest, six foot two. Good, that's easier to pop his head off. Running him a close second in age was Guy J. Wickersham. Again, Guy J. Wickersham of Pine Bluff, Arkansas, who was only 18 and the smallest of the party. One member of the group, John Hardy, I repeat, John Hardy of Elyria, Ohio, returned with Morris Bullet in his left lung and another in his neck. Praise be to Allah. This is the way Hardy tells of the treatment of Americans, which they're not Americans, they're United States orphans in the Spanish Legion. We were offered transportation to and from Spain, four and one half posadas a day in pay, about 85 cent. You sold out your spirit for 85 cent, you dumbass muck. Mm. And 700 posadas as a bonus. As a matter of fact, we received one posada a day and only half of the promised bonus. That's what you get. I'm glad they let you down. We never had outfits to brag about, although they were better than those issued to the regular Spanish soldiers. We had wool suits bought by the Queen of Spain from England and given to us as Christmas presents. Christmas presents to go kill the Moors, huh? We got heavy shoes, spiral putties, and campaign hats, but no socks, belts, or underwear. We once had overcoats, but they were taken from us. Fought in Morocco. Most of the fighting the men engaged in took place about 72 miles southeast of Tutan in Spanish Morocco. The Moors are devils at fighting. The men reported, they fight behind trees and barricades and seldom show themselves. One day we fought for six and a half hours and never saw a moor. When we captured the town, we found nine dead bodies. Because the men had no passports, they had to go through the formality of Ellis Island, just like immigrants, which you was an immigrant. The process took 30 minutes. The men declared they still retained their American citizenship because they did not swear allegiance to Spain. Bullshit, you killed for Spain. So that was your proof of allegiance. Y'all are so much, you all are the devils. How dare you go over to someone's land, kill them off, and then call them devils. Talking about you had no allegiance to Spain, but simply sign contracts to fight. I like to see that contract. 
The men who returned, oh, we got all their names. E.E. E. Atkinson, Houston, Texas. Raymond Bennett, Columbus. Miss Charles Bernard, Richmond, Virginia. F.A. Gilbert, Detroit, Michigan. John Hardy, Elyria, Ohio. H.W. Johnson, Arcadia, Florida. A.C. Johnson, Portland, Oregon. Joe Joyer, Norfolk, Virginia. P.J. Kerman, Camden, New Jersey. Richard Curvin, Germantown, Philadelphia. Fulton Marbury, Little Rock, Arkansas. Charles Meehan, New Orleans. R.P. Pewey, Chicago. C.L. Williams, Herndon, Virginia. Charles Phillips, Dover, New Jersey. Jimmy Wilson, Yonkers, New York. Thomas Murphy, New York City. So you got all these great, great grandchildren or whatever, probably got images or stories of their great, great grandfathers who fought in the war and they was honorable and fought for the country. No, they was genocidal maniacs. And I hope one day that they grandchildren get all, all of the karma. They're unhonorable genocidal maniacs. I leave you in peace and love. It's a lie. Chopping red flannels down Stomping with my sandals till they part of the ground Pressing the star, Moorish mounds being found Digging up the truth, circle sevens all around Fez my crown, Indians no noun Trade the empire, four square mile town All in day melanin, black not brown Floating in the cares of the world, just drown Drown and I ain't throwing no life vest to widows that's childless and orphans that's Christless. Life, tell them nationality's priceless. They trade it for a crumb like a bunch of dumb mice. Just, mice just let mice. me sit back with my feet up. Feet up. Teeth on the beat, spin the knob, turn the heat up. Turn the heat up. Stand up, Moorish prairie up. Uh. Sipping Moorish mint out my teacup. Man, not flesh nor soul. He's spirit without foes, you'll never know. It's like as above, so below. Man knows not by being told. Man, not flesh nor soul, he's spirit without foes, you'll never know. It's like as above, so below. Man knows not by being told. Ruth, that you? Ruth. Yo, this is Mr. Betty. Ruth. Please step on his number. Ruth. Civil in the mortuse, put they neck in the noose. That's why I'm living recluse. They want war, not truce. Eating on my rockin' couscous. And guitar in my hand, cause I don't know who's who. Who's who? Look at them fools, rain dancing in the tutu. Take their reservation, build them a new zoo. Lock them in the cages, put Bethy in the moo moo. Take away their buckets, have them sleeping in they doo doo. Speaking about my profit to the lowest Low. Screaming facts, but why you never show us? Never show Is it cause you an agent up in Connecticut? Yeah. Man, forget the shit, I ain't even sweating it Sweat. Moors brought the renaissance to the caveman uh. A law manifested in flesh to save man save. I don't know what else to say other than Islamism to my brother man Brother, brother. Pastor, concerned about this prophet Was teaching at the time, said we are not colored people or niggas and he said, we are energetics. And I said, that's so. I go with you to the temple then. Then I have a chance to uh, see the prophet that I heard of him. When he comes from the, the back part of the building, come to the front, we all are feasted, they, they stood up. And when I looked at him, I said, when I looked at him, I said, within myself, I said, I've never seen a man look like this man before. And he was a 